السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو لیکچر نمبر نائنٹین وچ از ریگارڈنگ سبلنگ اسپیشیز لیکچر آؤٹ کمز آؤٹ لائنس سو ان دس لیکچر وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ سبلنگ اسپیشیز اینڈ ایگزامپلس لیکچر آؤٹ کمز آفٹر واچنگ ان لسننگ ٹو دس لیکچر اسٹوڈنٹ ول بی ایبل ٹو know about the concept of sibling species and taxonomy um, identification of sibling species and examples so what is sibling species sibling species are actually those species which are morphologically similar but reproductively isolated so there are two aspect of um, sibling species number one they are morphologically similar if you look at their morphology they will look similar but if you bring them close in contact to interbreed they will show isolation they will not interbreed so such species which are morphologically similar but do not interbreed they are reproductively isolated from each other are known as sibling species so these are reproductively isolated species and they are very difficult to distinguish by morphological characteristics because uh, you cannot uh, like uh, distinguish them uh, by using morphology because morphologically they are similar so the sibling species are pairs or groups of similarly or closely related species which are reproductively isolated but they are morphologically identical or nearly identical so these are uh, normally geographically isolated species and cannot come in contact to interbreed so thus what happens they are genetically different from each other means morphologically phenotypically they are similar but genetically they are different from each other mean those genes which are controlling reproduction are now changed are being changed because of the long isolation while those genes which are controlling morphology are remain unchanged or similar that's why they are similar look similar morphologically but because of the change in the uh, reproductive genes they are reproductively isolated from each other so these species uh, have been evolved from the common ancestor so the thing is sibling species are monophyletic mean they are from the common ancestor but with the passage of time they show divergence or speciation and thus become reproductively isolated and why it happens it may happens in the same uh, geography but um, uh, mo uh, most of the time it happens because of the geographic isolation so now number mean um, uh, how many number of sibling species are possible in different groups of animal so like the number of uh, species are mostly common sibling species are mostly common in insects like either like deptra and orthoptera Uh, uh, and also the uh, there is a huge number in protozoa but sibling species are uh, mostly common in insects because you know uh, animal kingdom uh, 75% consist of the insect uh, so uh, there are too much adaptive variations and uh, adaptation to different zones uh, that's why uh, they have a number of sibling species invertebrate the sibling species are less if you compare them to invertebrates so in invertebrates sibling species are more as compared to vertebrates the use of sibling species is not much authentic in fossils or in paleontological specimens uh, uh, specimens so in paleontological species specimens or in fossils you cannot uh, like uh, uh, differentiate or you can say that there are sibling species because it is uh, related to the reproduction and you know dead organisms cannot reproduce so you cannot find out that whether fossil or paleontological specimens are sibling species or not so the uh, sibling species cannot extend to paleontological specimen in case of polyploidy the number of uh, sibling species are more common where poly where there is uh, polyploidy so the number of sibling species are more common uh, identification so sibling species uh, can be identified uh, by the following ways like reproduction um, you will find out through reproduction that whether they reproduce with each other or not second by their uh, cell study like cytology um, you can use behavior like acoustics 
for example if there are two similar frogs or crickets which are which look similar but you think they are different so you will record their uh, uh, voices their uh, betting calls and then you uh, check them through uh, sound graphs and you uh, look for the difference in their uh, sounds um, uh, another thing in case of uh, birds if they are look if they are morphologically similar so you can look at their nest building uh, so uh, the, the, maybe there is a difference in the nest uh, nest building um, you can look at their mig migratory behavior you can uh, study their uh, breeding season host preferences so in case of parasite you can use uh, the host preferences that which species prefer which host and uh, the pathogenicity like uh, we have discussed um, in the class uh, the uh, Mecolipinus uh, complex that the Anopheles that cause the malaria so the, uh, that mosquito Anopheles Mecolipinus complex uh, their, uh, their pathogenicity uh, egg size you can look for the egg size susceptibility to parasite you can also do by chemical tests so there are different ways by, by, by which you can identify sibling species uh, then uh, example so uh, fly cages uh, have a genus called ampedonyx and it has two uh, species uh, one is dusky fly cages and gray fly cages and these both are uh, like these are sibling species uh, in the same way uh, mouse lemur has 16 sibling species a uh, white tailed eagle and bald eagle are also they are also have uh, they are also sibling species so uh, this is the uh, dusky uh, fly catcher and the gray fly catcher so the dusky fly catcher and the gray fly catcher now look if you look closely to both of them they are um, exactly similar but actually they are two different sibling species so these are sibling species they are not one species because they will show reproductive isolation and this is the mouse lemur so there are many other uh, member of this group mouse lemur and they uh, are sibling species and this is the white tail eagle and the bald eagle so the white tail eagle and the bald eagle they are also uh, like uh, sibling species now no, there are north american crickets um, have some sibling species which can be differentiated by sound so as i told you that sometime uh, you will find uh, crickets they are living at the same uh, habitat in the same habitat and they look like uh, identical they look same similar so you cannot differentiate them morphologically so what you will do for these sibling species so you will differentiate them by sound by recording their mating cause or their chirping you uh, can record them and then you can uh, analyze them for the difference uh, there are uh, ladybird beetles they have they have a genus called harmonia uh, which has two species uh, harmonia uriensis and uh, harmonia exeritis so these two uh, species like these are sibling species to living in the pine trees of japan but and you cannot identify them like by normal because they look like or oh, what you will do you will go for using their egg size so you will measure the egg size and harmonia uriensis as 24.5% uh, the egg size is larger than that of the harmonia exeritis. So the, the, you will use this technique for their uh, identification. So these are the uh, these ladybird beetle group harmonia. And these are the references. And uh, if you have any question, please ask. Thank you so much.